everybody, it's Blue Ducky, and I'm super excited because I just got my gingerbread house Ever After High doll, and she looks amazing. The box did get it squished a little, not too bad. It didn't affect the doll, so that's good, but you can sort of see right here it's a little bit squished. Anyway, before I get into this review, I just wanted to say real quick, if you're a new viewer, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all my toy videos. And here's a close-up look at the front of her box. And by the way, if you're interested to know where I got her, I got her off of Amazon.com. And her name is Ginger Breadhouse, and she's the daughter of the Candy Witch, which is from Hansel and Gretel Fairy Tale. You can see her little like gingerbread house icon right there. Looks really, really cool. And she comes in the new box design. And here's a look, up close look at her little portrait. She looks super cute. And she is a rebel because um, unlike her mother, she doesn't want to lure people in with her sweets to like trick them or eat them. She just wants people to enjoy her baked goods and here's a look at the back of the box. And I'll um, get in here close so you can read about Gingerbread House. And it says about how she would rather use her magic to be top pastry chef ever, not to lure kids in to eat them. <laughs> and all about her legs. And then some other newer dolls that came out, Kitty, Duchess and Lizzie. I have reviews on all three of those, so go check out my channel if you haven't seen those yet. And here's a look at her beautiful, full-bodied artwork. She looks so cute. Okay, so I just want to take a quick moment to show you her backing because it's really adorable. Um, you can see there's that little like witch's cauldron and has little cupcakes with pink frosting falling out of it and little candies. And then there's the gingerbread house. So I thought her background was really cute. So I wanted to show you it um, without the doll so you could see it fully. Okay, here's a look at Ginger's little bookmark story. And you can see it's that nice orangey ginger color. And that has her little charms, a little cupcake and a little cookie here that are like for her, well, that might not be a cookie. I guess it could be like a little gem. But it's, you know, because she loves baking and everything and that she's a rebel. And her story was like super awesome. She is like totally not into scaring children, creeps her out, and she's all about rewriting her story. She doesn't want to be a villain. She just wants to feed people and have them enjoy her food, which is sort of like um, Raven, you know. She is not into being the villain as well. So um, she's really good friends with Cerise. And... Yeah, so while I was reading it, like, I totally love her story, but I was thinking, you know, are we ever going to get, like, an Ever After High villain character that actually wants to be a villain? And you know what? This story um, really answered that question because it's talking about Faye Bell Thorne, and she's, like, all into her destiny and wants to be that villain, the dark fairy, you know, that sort of thing. So that'll be exciting when she comes out in dull form. Okay, so as you can see, she comes with a black Ever After High comb and a black Ever After High dull stand. Okay, so first I wanted to show you her face and her makeup up close. As you can see, she has some light pink eyeshadow. And then there's a little dots, four dots under each eye. And those kind of like remind me of candy because that's obviously her theme. And you know, those little candy button dots, those are what those remind me of. And they're like a dark purplish color. And she has really pretty brown eyes. And then her skin tone kind of reminds me like a gingerbread cookie. It's like this nice... Um, brown color. She has this beautiful pink lipstick 
that has a little bit of lighter pink on the bottom lip. And moving on to Ginger's hair, she has two ponytails, long ponytails on each side, and these bangs that, um, they're not exactly straight across, they're kind of like a V going down towards her nose, as you can see. And they're not like hairsprayed, they're very loose bangs, but her hair is pink like a bright pink with some lighter pink streaks through it. Here's a look at the back and up close so you can see the two different tones of pink in it. And if you've watched my videos before you know I love pink hair dolls like Cupid is my favorite but I think Ginger is going to be a close second or third her head she has this really cute headband that has it looks like a little cupcake on top in gold and hot pink and the headband part is black as you can see I'll just turn it around so you can see it from all directions I really love her candy baked goods themed accessories. It's one of my favorite themes for any sort of toy or doll. She does come with her glasses, which are so cute. They have little um, candies on the side and it looks like frosting and they're hot pink and they do fit and stay on her really well. You kind of tuck the ends of the glasses into her hair and as you can see on the side there's like little swirly candies. I think they make her look super adorable. She has this really awesome collar um, necklace sort of shoulder piece that looks like it's made of little candies and gumdrops and the little um, chains of candy go over her shoulders and around her back. Show you the back. It's like that. You can see it's removable and it's held down with these little rubber straps. So I'll remove those in a bit so you can see the dress underneath fully. Right. Other accessory that she comes with is this purse that looks like a cauldron with gold um, liquid spilling out. And then the top is a spoon, as you can see. So this is like the little cauldron that she would be making her candies and baked goods in. And I really think the design in the spoon over the top looks really cute. And just a quick note on her purse again, uh, so cute, but it actually opens, which makes it even cooler. So you can put little, little, little accessories inside, but it opens. So I thought that was super cool. Next on her outfit, you can see she has this little cropped jacket that has um, a black denim material with gold threading. You see it fully once you remove her necklace. And the jacket also has this yellow material that's sparkly, has gold sparkles in it, and this yellow sort of, I think it might be like, I don't know what material it is, but you can see through it really um, easily. But this is attached to the jacket, this little piece. And here's the dress that's underneath the jacket. As you can see, it's a strapless little sheath dress that has lots and lots of sprinkles and glitter. And it's just so adorable, candy, licious looking. I really, really like it. It's very simple design, but the material and just like how it has all these sprinkles and it looks like frosting and glitter, it's just really, really cool. And the bottom, you can see this scalloped edge on the bottom that goes all the way around. Just really, really cute dress. Even though it's a simple design, I like it a lot. And she has these brown tights on that have these little curly Q um, designs in a lighter brown. And this like this right here reminds me of like those little cupcakes that have this design on the top in white. But yeah, so it's like a little frosting swirl. Very, very cute. 
and um, sort of like match the edge of her dress with that kind of shape. And finally, we're to her shoes, which look just so yummy and great. Um, it has a little ankle strap that looks like frosting, the edge all gooey, and then little dots that could be sprinkles or candies. And then the rope around the top of her foot looks like it could be licorice and it's hot pink. And then her heel is a lollipop and then it has a little candy there and just a really, really cool design in gold and hot pink. They look so cool. I love them. I love the little lollipop heel. And here's a, just a quick look at her um, all together without the jacket. I think this look looks really cute as well as with the jacket. Another thing I do have to say real quick is um, after watching her webisode, um, they did change up her outfit and accessories a little bit from the show. Um, her jacket in the show has like blue pom-poms instead of gold threading. And she didn't have this blue necklace. She had a necklace similar to this, but it was like under the jacket and it was pink. And they didn't paint the lollipops on her glasses the yellow color like they are in the show and then I would the one thing that I kind of wish they really did was um put the little candy um accessory sort of like scrunchies in her hair to hold her uh ponytails instead of the clear plastic I think that would have been like really cute if they did that so you could probably paint the little Candy's yellow if you wanted to. Um, and I guess you could paint this pink if you wanted to. I still really like this doll. Uh, her dress is also a little bit uh, different design than it was in the show. But um, I think she's still really, really amazing. Yeah, I think overall... Yeah, I'm just totally in love with Ginger Breadhouse. The doll, the character, I think she looks sweet and I love her pink hair and her skin tone and just even the little pops of color from her turquoise necklace against all this pink and brown really makes it stand out and look amazing. So yeah, um, thank you so much for watching this unboxing and review of Ginger Bread House, the daughter of the candy witch. I can't wait till, um, Helga and Gus come out because from their artwork they're also very candy themed going along with their stories so um, I can't wait till they're made into dolls it'll be so awesome to see them and they'll go just really really well with Ginger please leave a comment down below telling me what you think of Ginger I think she's awesome also, if you are not one of my subscribers, like I said in the beginning of the video, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. And finally, please thumbs up this video and share it with your friends. I appreciate it a lot. So, thank you everyone for watching again, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!